Hello Royals, nice to see you here again. This is your regular source of Royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive the earliest notification. King Charles breaks silence on Omid Scobie book scandal as he heads to COP28, Monarch tries to brush off new royal title endgame by focusing on his work. King Charles declared he was all right very much, just about today in his first public comments since fresh controversy erupted over a royal race row. Hours after Piers Morgan used his television show and social media to name two senior members of the royal family said to have expressed concerns about the likely skin color of Harry and Meghan's first child, the monarch began a 48-hour trip to Dubai. He is in the city to give an opening address at the COP28 climate change summit and began his visit with a 30-minute meeting with Nigeria's President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. They shook hands warmly and President Tinubu asked, How are you? The king, in a tan suit, took his seat and said, I'm all right very much, just about. Having had a rather ancient birthday recently recovering from the shock of that. The pair met at a hotel in Dubai ahead of the conference to discuss energy, the environment, the Commonwealth and the situation in Gaza and Israel. It was the first of a series of meetings with world leaders, the king, joined by new Foreign Secretary Lord Cameron, later shook hands and spoke to students at Harriet Watt campus in Dubai. Dozens waited outside the campus with their mobile phones to grab photos of the king. As he left, he unveiled a plaque before taking extra time to greet the waiting students. Inside, he was shown examples of clean technology and innovations to fight climate change ahead of his address at COP28 Environment Summit tomorrow, Lord Cameron, who only became Foreign Secretary, earlier this month, is also in Dubai for COP, greeting the monarch at the university campus, Lord Cameron said, I would not have missed it for the world, Hamza Yusuf, the Scottish First Minister, also warmly greeted the king. Rick Evers, a Dutch journalist who wrote a review of the book but was then asked to remove it after the Dutch publishers withdrew the edition from sale, read out the extracts on social media, complete paragraphs are missing, he said, identifying the royals. That's as clear as anything. I cannot imagine that that's a matter of translation. The Dutch edition covers private letters between the king and Meghan discussing the controversy in which the monarch insisted there was no ill will or bias. It says, but in those private letters an identity was revealed and confirmed. It then goes on to name the individual, Mr. Evers, who normally specializes in covering the Dutch monarchy. Quoted from a passage describing how the second royal jokingly shivered when Meghan's name was mentioned, it goes on to say that Meghan and Charles spoke about unconscious bias within the family after it was revealed that X and Y, the Daily Express has redacted the names, participated in such conversations about Archie. That intensified speculation about how the two names could have crept into the book, amid threats of legal action from the royal household, it comes after the controversy over a new book about the monarchy deepened yesterday after it emerged that a second royal alleged to be embroiled in a race row has been named. Author Omid Scobie and his publishers have been unable to explain how two royals alleged to have raised concerns about the skin color of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's first child. Prince Archie were named in the Dutch edition of the book Endgame but not elsewhere in the world. Mr. Scobie and his Dutch publishers blamed a mistranslation when it was revealed that one senior royal was named on page 128. They insisted that at no point did the author send out any manuscripts identifying the individuals he believes made the remarks. So what do you think about this news guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty until then thank for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.